Hey friends, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. How is everybody? I'm good. Um, thanks for asking. <laughs> um, I, hey, you know what? It's going to be September this week. This is good news. Such good news because it's going to start to get cool and there'll be pumpkins and, and pretty leaves. And, um, I don't do summer very well. Um, I have to say I do summer, uh, ugly just ugly. I don't like get hot. I don't feel happy when it's hot. Um, you can't take off enough layers to be comfortable when it's hot. Give me a sweater and a fire and I, oh goodness, that is my happy place. But so I'm happy. It's going to be September. So show of hands, has anybody already started putting up their fall decor? It's cool. If you have, it's cool. No judgment. Uh, September 1st is my, is my day. Um, that's, I can wait till September 1st, but I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> so today's video, I, is really exciting for me. Um, I gotta tell you, I love Notion. Like I, I love a Notion. Um, and, and, Please, if you guys have a notion that I have not covered here, because, you know, there's like so many, um, that is like something that you, it's your go-to, it's your ride or die, please, please put them in the comments. I would love to know what your favorite notion is. Um, I was going to do my top 10, and then it became my top 11, and uh, I think there's a baker's dozen now, but I'll try not to make this like, you know... I mean, I would suggest that you might want to get a beverage and get comfortable, but I'll try not to make it too long because nobody wants to sit around watching a video for, you know, 20 minutes. So let's talk, let's talk notions. So here we go. Uh, I will preface this by saying that I'm not doing this in any specific order, like what's my favorite, what's not. Um, and also some of these things are are kind of a little pricey i'm just gonna say right, right off the bat but, but sometimes you know sometimes not always but you know you pay for what you get so anyway we're gonna start off with this here little uh knobby thing um this is the quilter select a ruler handle it's like a pop socket for your rulers i mean i have seen handles and I've, I've even had a handle and it just um it was okay but it wasn't like okay it was okay so <clears throat> this little dude just you know he's got a little little suction cup and you just suction him down and then you just press and for some miraculous reason when you press down on him he gives like pretty even pressure throughout the ruler and I would say this is about this is my 18 inch ruler the one I use the most often um any bigger than this and I think you probably would need to but I this I love this thing and um it was $6.99 where I bought it and uh did I already say that I will put all the descriptions of where of where you can get these products in the description box and I will try to find you the best deal so that is the Quilter Select Ruler Handle okay when I said I didn't have favorites, I lied. This is hands down my favorite sewing. And maybe you can't really call it a notion, but it's a little Oli Oliso iron. It's the traveling size, the mini project iron. I rarely get out my big iron anymore. I mean, except unless I have large expanses of things to iron, but this little iron and a wool mat Oh boy, there is some, it will, it will iron. Let me tell you, it gets plenty hot. It, you can, it's got a thing up here for the reservoir to pour water in it. It's, um, it's the bomb. It's got a little, the little cord kind of rotates around a little bit. It's got this little silicone thing that you can, when you're, you can turn it over and put it on, or you can actually fix it onto the bottom. Awesome 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 how anybody i i don't know what i did before i had that iron seriously just amazing <clears throat> apologize for the voice okay i probably have five pairs of these 
I have them in every every conceivable and this one met with some glue I think um these are the Tulip Hank large ring micro tip scissors and that little tip gets in under little things um it's almost as good as a seam ripper it's I love these little scissors these little I like I said I I bet I have six pairs of them and they are they are just they are always the first little pair of scissors I reach for. Always. So, Tula Pink Large Ring Micro Tip Scissors. Okay, this next thing is so cool. This is the Blade Saver Thread Cutter. And I've, I've had other of these thread cutters that you use when you um, chain piece. And you've got all these little, you know, you need to cut them. And I had been using my little scissors to do it until someone said, did you know that you can um, get these cool things? So this cool one, it, it's got magnets in the case. So the case just like snaps, snaps shut, super easy. And then the flower sits in the cap. And inside the flower are your used rotary blades cool right so cool and then you just it's just sitting up you just will take your thing over the rotary blade ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, done and then when you're finished with it you just pop it on out of there sit it back in its little space put the lid back on it's all safe nobody's gonna get caught I I mean, really, who, who somebody was thinking this was this is smart blade saver thread cutter. Awesome. So let's see. Um, <clears throat> speaking of cutting, this is the Quilter Select rotary cutter. This is the 45 millimeter. This sucker was expensive. I'm I'm not going to even kid you. It was expensive and it is heavy in the hand. And I love it. It, you push the button and you put it down and the, you put it down, slide it across, it cuts. And then you can push it back or it's got a little thing on the back. It, the blades change like a dream. It cuts <clears throat> without hardly any effort. I, 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 I'm 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 not kidding when I say I've probably got four rotary cutters and the, and each one you know kind of serves its purpose but this one hands down love this rotary cutter. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, this thing. Okay. This is another just miraculous thing of which I'm going to need like five of because this is so cool. This is the dome threaded needle case and the top comes off and you may, I've already got two needles are in here. So you kind of um, find yourself a little spot to put your needle in. I happen to have one here and you, sh you just stick your needle in there till it's probably in there pretty good. And then you turn it and it puts all your thread in a nice little circle. So like if you're cross stitching or you're embroidering and you're using a lot of the same color thread over and over, or you know, you're alternating between colors and you don't want to have to keep threading and rethreading the needle. I frequently just, you know, will thread a couple of needles so you can just grab this keeps all your threads happy, not mangled up in the bottom. And when you're done and you want it back, you just pull it out and, and it's happy time. It's, it's, it's kind of miraculous. Seriously. I, again, people who sit around and think of this stuff, good for you people. Good for you. Cause this is so good. So, all right, if you have not 
gotten a purple thing. I don't know what rock you're like living under, but because they're super cheap and they do all kinds of awesome things. And, and, um, <laughs> I, uh, also use them to stick in my hair if I'm sewing or working and my hair is bugging me. I put it up on top of my head and throw the purple thing in it. And, um, I'm wondering where my purple thing, <laughs> it's on my head, but I really love this clover. Um, I'm not even sure what it's called, but it's got a, a really good pointy point. Um, it's got a nice curve to it. This end, if you're sewing a curve or you're working on a bag that's got like a curve, this just slides right along that curve and opens it up really beautifully. It also will score paper and if you're like making a card or something in your, your folding and you want it to fold up real nice it works super good for that as well it's just a really kind of versatile white bread tool but I, I i like it i mean it my purple thing is you know awesome but i also really like this one um <clears throat> the identipen if you are well, okay, what I use it for. When I do the dedications on the back of my quilts or anything else that I make that needs to have a dedication, I use the Adenta pen. It is permanent. You can put it in a washer. Um, on this end, it's got like a really pointy, nice end. And then on this end, it's got more of like a calligraphy tip or a, a bigger tip. So depending on what you want to write or what you want to do, it's super super nice i this is a cool little pen works really well um okay wonder tape <laughs> my wonder tape is a disaster it's got all kinds of stuff um i honestly wonder tape was like completely under my radar i excuse me <clears throat> um and then I was making a buy Annie bag and she suggested that you use the wonder tape to um, adhere your zipper fabric, the fabric down on top of your zipper or to adhere your zipper to keep it kind of in place. And since then, I have used this for every zipper I've ever put in. I use it on like long seams that I'm afraid are going to wobble or whatever. I'll use little pieces of it. I, this stuff is awesome. It's awesome. And it comes out in the wash and uh, it's, there's a million uses for wonder tape, a million. And I, good stuff. And it comes in different um, widths too. So next up is the sewing machine and cleaner brushes. How many times do you clean your sewing machine? You must, you must clean your sewing machine because there are dust bunnies underneath that plate like you will not, I mean, I after every major project, I clean my sewing machine. And supposedly, you're not supposed to blow air into it because it can blow fuzz into the workings of your machine and that's no bueno. I found, found these little, these little brushes and they're, they're kind of like little, little q-tips they have like this little fuzzy bit on the end and you just get it in there and all those little crevices and it pulls out dust in like clumps like it's these are awesome they can get in little spaces they just um i they're supposedly reusable uh i have not been reusing them which is probably not ecologically a good idea but um they get so like so gummed up on the end but and they're also flexible so you can like bend it into the spots you need to so those are super cool on the same uh cleaning vein you may recall i had an orange one of these this is a vacuum cleaner the orange one went into my office this one has since come in here this has um you charge it charge the, you can it has a battery but you can charge the battery 
Here's a little charger. It comes with a little brush. This one has this little um, elephant <laughs> elephant nose that um, you can kind of get into your sewing machine a little bit or into different little corners that help suck some stuff out. So I, these little vacuums are the bomb. I mean, it, it just vacuums up. It works really well on... Um, like your cutting mat, because it's got these little brushes, and so it goes across the cutting mat and like kind of pulls up all the stuff. Just so cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. A desk vacuum. Who knew? Who thought a desk vacuum? Um, I'm embarrassed to show this to you, but it is so awesome. It is so good that um its dirtiness is we're going to overlook it because i use it this is the presser foot pad i got this at the brass um i should have gotten two because honest to god it's the greatest thing it's the, it just you put it on wherever you want your presser foot to be and you put your presser foot down on top of it and that puppy does not move it does not move it is there it's so good i just love this thing love it love it love it it's so good i i used to have some kind of like double-sided tape contraption going on and this is just way better way 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 better and last but not least is the bird needle threader this bird's beak i don't know if you can see has a little tiny like notch it is almost like an itty bitty little crochet hook and you can put this through the eye of your needle. I probably would have been smart to get a needle here. And... Dun, 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 dun. No, I can't get it on the thread. Okay. So you put it through the eye of your... Can you see? Yes. Through the eye of your needle. Or those of us who could see. And then you put the thread in the little notchy thing at the end. Oops, I didn't get all my pieces in there. And then you just wiggle it on through and it's threaded. And it will thread, I used it for Sashiko. Um, I used it for all kinds of stuff and it's it will thread multiple layers it's just an amazing little amazing little bird and it's so cool that it's got this little cap that goes down over the top so that it saves that little tip so that's it that's 13 of my favorite sewing quilting notions at this moment i am a fickle person and there will be more in my life that i will i will like maybe more than or less than them but for right now, that's what we got. So that's it. 13 of my favorite notions at this time. I hope that you found something new in that pile that you hadn't considered and um, might want to give a try. And again, please leave your favorites below. I mean, I love hearing people's favorite, well, really favorite anythings, but um, sewing notions, that would be awesome and you know like like if you liked so uh that's it for this week uh be well be safe and i'll see you next week bye